Hi, I'm Mike, the All Hallows Geek, and welcome to a special Funkoween edition of This Week in Eek. With so many product announcements coming out of Funko's halfway to Halloween product reveal event, Funkoween, I decided it only made sense to dedicate an entire episode of This Week in Eek just to the announcements. During this special edition of This Week in Eek, I'll share with you all of this week's product announcements, along with details on where you can pre-order the items and when we can expect to see them being released. For those of you who may not be familiar with Funkoween, the virtual event is hosted by collectible toy maker Funko. During the event, Funko unveils all of its new Halloween and horror themed products for the year. The five day event kicked off this last Monday and concluded on Friday. And over the course of the event, Funko unveiled 40 new products as well as a handful of new product lines. The Funkoween fun kicked off on Monday with a film noir called The Mystery of Haunted Hollywood and starred Funko founders Mike Becker and Brian Mariotti. During the video, Funko teased a number of the products that would be unveiled over the course of the event. But enough about the event itself, let's dive into the actual products that were announced this week. The first Funkoween 2021 reveals came during The Mystery of Haunted Hollywood, when the caretaker in the video gave us a first look at the new Marvel Funko Pop figures debuting during Funkoween. The first figure unveiled was a Red Hulk. Red Hulk is a Hot Topic exclusive and has a glow-in-the-dark chase variant. Pre-orders for the figure have already sold out, but the figure will be available later this year in Hot Topic stores and on HotTopic.com. Next, Funko unveiled a glow-in-the-dark variant of its Zombie Thor Funko Pop figure. The new variant is an exclusive to Entertainment Earth and is available for pre-order now for just $13.99. Marvel Zombies Glow-in-the-Dark Thor will officially be released in July. Funko then unveiled two new Venom Pop figures, with the first being a Funko exclusive Venomized Kingpin. An exact release date for the figure wasn't announced, but if you sign up for Funko's email newsletter, you'll be notified of the figure's release once it hits the Funko shop. Hot Topic will be getting the second Venom figure with an exclusive Venomized Jack-O-Lantern expected later this year. Pre-orders for the Hot Topic exclusive have sold out online, but the figure will be available in-store and online when it's officially released. Funko shifted from one comic publisher to another with the unveiling of new Funko Pop figures inspired by some of DC's most popular characters, all in a Dia de los Muertos motif. The first figure unveiled was the Batman villain Bane. The new Dia de los Muertos Bane figure makes the villain look more like a Lucha Libre with his Sugar Skull mask featuring a pair of snakes on his forehead. The figure is currently available for pre-order from Amazon, FYE, GameStop, Target, Walmart, and Entertainment Earth. Entertainment Earth will also have an exclusive glow-in-the-dark variant of the figure, which is available for pre-order now and is expected to be released in September. Next up was Blue Beetle. The Dia de los Muertos take on the DC character is currently available for pre-order through Amazon, Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, Target, and Walmart. Green Lantern Jessica Cruz is also getting the Dia de los Muertos treatment. The female Green Lantern's face paint features a large green lantern around her right eye and is currently available for pre-order through Amazon, Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, Target, and Walmart. Fan favorite Harley Quinn is also a part of the upcoming Dia de los Muertos series. The new Harley Quinn figure is currently available for pre-order at Amazon, Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, Target, and Walmart. And of course, what is Harley without her puddin'? Funko unveiled two Dia de los Muertos Joker figures this week. The standard figure is available for pre-order at Amazon, Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, Target, and Walmart. A glow-in-the-dark variant of Dia de los Muertos Joker will also be available from Amazon, but pre-orders for the figure are currently sold out, meaning it won't be available again until it's officially released. Both versions of the Batman villain feature the Joker holding a stylized La Muerte Lotteria card. Batman will also be part of the DC Dia de los Muertos series. The figure is currently available for pre-order through Amazon, Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, Target, and Walmart. A glow-in-the-dark variant of the figure will also be released as a Hot Topic exclusive. However, pre-orders have already sold out. The figure should be available in stores and online sometime later this year once the figure is officially released. Finally, Funko announced that they would be home to an exclusive Dia de los Muertos The Flash figure. An exact release date was not provided during Funkoween, but the figure is likely to arrive sometime around the release of the rest of the series. 
The earliest release date listed for the DC Dia de los Muertos Funko Pop figures is August 25th, so we can expect to see pieces of the series showing up on store shelves then. The DC Dia de los Muertos figures were introduced on day one of the Funko Ween event with the help of comedian Gabriel Fluffy Iglesias, who also got an exclusive Dia de los Muertos themed Funko Pop. The figure was limited to an additional size of 4,000 and sold out almost instantly when made available for pre-order only release on Friday. With the figures being pre-order only, it's likely these figures will not be available for purchase again other than through resellers. On Monday, Funko also unveiled the latest offering from its Paka Paka Boo Hollow line. First up, Funko unveiled Series 2 of its Paka Paka Boo Hollow minifigures. The new series features 15 spooky characters that will be released as blind bags later this year. Entertainment Earth currently has three packs of the figures, as well as a display case available for pre-order, with both expected to begin shipping in August. This Funko Ween also brought with it the first ever full-size, ride, deluxe, and moment Paka Paka Boo Hollow figures. Zeke the Zombie and Raven the Vampire will both get full-size releases this year. Gabe the Skeleton is getting a Paka Paka ride release, Nina the Witch is getting a deluxe release featuring her cat Lucky and Newt the Cauldron. Phineas and Scratch are getting a Paka Paka Moment vinyl figure featuring the two characters partaking in a graveyard jamboree. The new full-size deluxe, ride, and moments Paka Paka Boo Hollow figures are available for pre-order now from Amazon, Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, and Walmart, with the earliest release date announced as August 26th. Four new plush of the Boo Hollow characters were also unveiled this week. Lucky the Cat, Ori the Ghost, Newt the Cauldron, and Bella the Bat will all make their plush debut later this year. The Paka Paka Boo Hollow plush are available for pre-order from Amazon, Entertainment Earth, GameStop, and Walmart, with the earliest release date announced being July 27th. The Paka Paka Boo Hollow characters are also getting all new Loungefly accessories, with Funko unveiling a mini backpack and coin bag featuring various characters from the Boo Hollow minifigure series. The Loungefly accessories are currently available for pre-order from Entertainment Earth and Walmart, with both retailers expecting to ship the product sometime in September. And finally, you'll be able to celebrate the spooky season with Paka Paka characters from Boo Hollow in the all new silly spooky card game Pumpkin Showdown. Details on gameplay have not yet been released, but this family-friendly card game is for ages 6 and up and for 3 to 6 players. Pumpkin Showdown is available for pre-order now from Amazon, Entertainment Earth, and Walmart, with the product expected to begin shipping as early as September. After a trip to Boo Hollow, Funko unveiled the latest in its Funko Soda line. Funko Soda figures are stylized figures of some of your favorite characters packaged in a collectible soda can that includes a pog-shaped collector card. The first figure unveiled as part of the Funko Ween event was Ash Williams from The Evil Dead. The figure is limited to an addition size of 10,000 and will also have a blood splattered chase variant. Pre-orders for the Ash Funko Soda have sold out, but the figure will officially begin hitting stores sometime in August. The next Funko Soda figure unveiled was Space Ghost from Scooby-Doo Where Are You? The figure will be limited to an addition size of 7500 and will have a glow-in-the-dark chase variant. Pre-orders for the figure have sold out with the earliest release listed in late September. The next reveal was a Peter Bankman Funko Soda. The new vinyl figure is limited to an addition size of 12500 and features a slimed chase variant. Pre-orders for the Peter Bankman Funko Soda have sold out at most retailers, but as of this recording, they are still available from GameStop and are expected to ship in late September. And while the workplace comedy The Office doesn't really instill a feeling of Halloween, that didn't stop Funko from unveiling quite a few new products based on the popular television series, the first of which was a Dwight Schrute Funko Soda figure. The Halloween element here is that the chase variant of the figure is a pumpkin-headed Dwight. The Dwight Schrute Funko Soda figure is limited to an addition size of 12,500. Pre-orders for the figure have sold out, but the figure is expected to begin hitting retailers in late September. Funko mascot Freddy Funko is getting into the Halloween spirit this year with an all-new Funko Soda figure. The new Freddy Vampire Funko Soda figure will be a Funko Shop exclusive and limited to an addition size of 10,000. 
The figure will also have a chase variant that features Freddy Funko as a skeleton. An exact release date for the figure was not announced during funko Ween, but it will likely be released sometime this fall. Emily, aka The Corpse Bride, will also be getting the Funko Soda treatment this year. The stylized figure will be limited to an edition size of 10,000 and will have a glow-in-the-dark chase variant. Pre-orders for the Corpse Bride Funko Soda figure have sold out, but the figure is expected to officially be released sometime in August. A more obscure selection from the Hanna-Barbera universe is also getting a Funko Soda figure this fall. Funko will be releasing a Frankenstein Jr. Funko Soda figure that will be limited to an edition size of 7500 and will have a metallic chase variant. Pre-orders for the figure have already sold out, but the earliest release date shows the figure popping up in stores as early as late July. Disney is getting three new Funko Soda figures this Halloween season, the first of which is an extremely limited release of a Vampire Mickey Mouse. The Vampire Mickey Funko Soda is limited to an edition size of just 1500 and has a black and white chase variant. Pre-sales for the figure sold out almost instantly, and while the figure is expected to be officially released sometime in October, the fact this is Mickey Mouse and it's such a small edition size, I imagine this one is going to be a tough one to get. Other Disney Funko Soda figures announced include two new Funko Soda figures from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Fans of the Tim Burton film will be able to pick up soda figures of the Harlequin Demon as well as Barrel, both of which are limited to an edition size of 10,000. The Harlequin Demon has a glow-in-the-dark chase variant, with Barrel having a color variant of the figure. Pre-orders for both figures have sold out, with the Harlequin Demon Soda figure expected to officially be released in September and Barrel expected to be released in October. After filling up on Funko Soda, Funko took a break from the mystery of Haunted Hollywood to chat with producer Elijah Wood about one of the more surprising reveals from Funko Ween 2021. Wood and Funko CEO Brian Mariotti unveiled a new series of pop figures inspired by the 2018 Nicolas Cage horror film Mandy. The film's namesake, Mandy, will be available as a Funko Pop figure this fall, with fans having a 1 in 6 chance of finding an evil chase variant of the character. The Mandy Bloom Funko Pop figure is available for pre-order now from Entertainment Earth, GameStop, Target, and Walmart. The Funko Pop of Nicolas Cage's character from the film, Red Miller, is also available in pop form. The blood-splattered Miller is holding his axe and is available for pre-order from Entertainment Earth, GameStop, Target, and Walmart. Those interested in an evil variant of the figure can pick it up as an exclusive from the Legion M Shop. The all red figure is available for pre-order now and will begin shipping in October. Release dates for the rest of the Mandy Pop figures are listed as early as July 28th. During the tease of the figures, the fan favorite Cheddar Goblin was also shown as part of the Mandy Funko Pop series. However, I have yet to see a listing for the figure or an official image of the figure from Funko. This leads me to believe the figure will be officially announced sometime in the future. The General Mills Monster Cereals turned 50 this year, and Funko is clearly celebrating with the announcement of nine new General Mills Monster Cereal products. Count Chocula, Frankenberry, and Boo Berry are all getting cereal box pop figures along with character-themed watches. Funko also announced new variants of their Count Chocula, Boo Berry, and Fruit Brute Funko Soda figures. These updated versions of the previous released figures include a metallic variant of Count Chocula, glow-in-the-dark variant of Boo Berry, and flock variant of Fruit Brute. Each Funko Soda figure will be limited to an addition size of 5,000. All of this year's General Mills Monster Cereal releases will be Funko Shop exclusive. An exact release date was not announced as part of Funko Ween, but the figures are expected to be available in time for the 2021 Halloween season. Speaking of Halloween, day one of the event also introduced us to new pop figures of Halloween's Michael Myers. The new figures feature Myers in a new pose and with an updated overall look. The figure is available for pre-order now from Amazon, Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, and Walmart. A bloody variant of the figure is also being released as an Amazon exclusive, but pre-orders for the figure have already sold out, meaning you'll only be able to get it when the figure is officially released. Michael is also getting a jumbo-sized 10-inch pop for the Halloween season, with the character in a bit of a more ominous pose as he has his knife raised. The giant pop figure is available for pre-order now from Amazon, 
Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, and Walmart. The Funko Shop will have a bloody variant of the figure as part of the Funko Specialty series, which will be released sometime later this year. The new series of Halloween Michael Myers figures are expected to start shipping as early as August. The opening video for Funkoween 2021 concluded with the announcement of an Elvira Mistress of the Dark 40th Anniversary Pop. The Mistress of the Dark herself appeared in the video to help with the announcement. The new Diamond Collection Pop figure is stylistically similar to a previously released figure featuring the iconic horror hostess in a glittery red dress, though for her 40th anniversary, the Elvira figure is holding a heart. The Elvira 40th Anniversary Pop is still available for pre-order from Entertainment Earth and FYE. Immediately following Funkoween's kickoff video, Funko took to social media to make its first official product announcement with the unveiling of a Hot Top exclusive 3-pack featuring the Hex Girls from Scooby-Doo. Unfortunately, folks got wind of the release before Funko had even posted the figures and pre-orders from Hot Topic had already sold out by the time Funko had made the announcement. More of the figures are expected to be available when they are officially released later this year. Following the Hex Girls announcement, Funko unleashed a tidal wave of Disney Funko reveals. First, Funko announced nine new Funko Pop figures inspired by some of Disney's most popular villains. The first series of reveals included Captain Hook, the Evil Queen, which by the way I learned through the release of this pop, is actually named Queen Grimhild. Who the hell knew that? Anyway, uh, Maleficent, Lady Tremaine, and Cruella de Vil. The first batch of figures announced are currently available for pre-order from Amazon, Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, Target, and Walmart. The second batch of Disney villain reveals included the Princess and the Frog's Dr. Fasselier, along with three retailer exclusives. Target will carry a Hades with Chessboard exclusive pop figure, which is currently available for pre-order. Box Lunch is getting a Dr. Fasselier exclusive release, however pre-orders have already sold out, meaning fans of The Princess and the Frog will need to try and scoop one up when it's released sometime later this year. Funko is also getting an exclusive with the release of a Cruella de Vil pop featuring the 101 Dalmatians villain on the phone in her curlers. A release date for the pop figure was not revealed. Funko also announced three new Disney Villains Deluxe figures featuring Ursula, the Evil Queen, and Maleficent all on their thrones. Ursula and the Evil Queen are available for pre-order now through Amazon, Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, Target, and Walmart. The Maleficent Deluxe figure is a Diamond Collection Hot Topic exclusive, and you guessed it, pre-orders have already sold out. The figure should be available online and in-store when the figure is officially released later this year. It was also revealed on Monday that the Disney villains would be getting a series of mystery minifigures. The 12 new blind bag figures include the Evil Queen, the Wicked Witch, Chernabog, Lady Tremaine, the Queen of Hearts, Captain Hook, Maleficent, Cruella de Vil, Ursula, Jafar, Hades, and Dr. Fasselier. The Disney villains mystery minis are available for pre-order now through Amazon, Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, Target, and Walmart. And soon you'll be able to cuddle up with some of your favorite Disney villains. Four of the villains were also revealed to be getting their very own plush. Pre-orders are now available for the Queen of Hearts, Maleficent, the Evil Queen, and Ursula from Amazon, FYE, Target, and Walmart. When it came to Disney villains announcements, Funko saved the best for last with its final reveal being a jumbo sized pop of Maleficent as a dragon. The jumbo pop is 10 inches tall and stands on a bed of green fire. The pop is currently available for pre-order from Amazon, Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, Target, and Walmart. Amazon is also releasing an exclusive glow-in-the-dark variant of the pop, with pre-orders of the variant currently sold out. More of the figure are expected to be available when it's officially released later this year. Release dates for the Disney villains announcements vary greatly by retailer, with some listing dates as early as August and other listing dates as late as December. If you're looking to score an item sooner rather than later, I would recommend shopping around and finding the retailer that has the item you want available at the earliest. While Funko unveiled the bulk of its Funko sodas during its launch video, one character was left behind. Soli from Monsters Inc. was later announced as a new Funko soda that will be available later this year. The figure is limited to an edition size of 12,500 and has a flocked chase variant. 
Pre-orders of the Soli Funko Soda have sold out, with the figure expected to be officially released in August. And if you're a fan of the film Hocus Pocus, during day one of funko Ween, Funko announced that Spirit Halloween will again have an exclusive pop figure inspired by the film. Joining past Spirit Halloween exclusives like Billy Butcherson and the Sanderson sisters is a Funko Pop of Danny, the character famously played by Thora Birch in the film. While the new Spirit Halloween exclusive pop is currently listed on the Halloween retailer's website, the figure will not actually be available for sale until sometime in July. The Danny Funko Pop announcement was followed by the unveiling of two Funko Shop exclusive Hocus Pocus t-shirts featuring the film Sanderson Sisters. A release date for the shirts was not provided, however you can sign up in the coming soon section of Funko.com to be notified when the shirts are released. For this next Funko Ween reveal, you're probably going to want to get a bigger shelf. Funko concluded its day one announcements by unveiling a GameStop and EB Games exclusive Jaws Movie Moments Pop. The figure is based on the iconic scene when the shark overtakes the orca and eats Quint. Pre-orders for the figure are surprisingly still available through GameStop, with the figure expected to ship on August 11th. Day 2 of funko Ween led off with all things Stitch from Disney's Lilo & Stitch franchise. The first announcement of the day included two Hot Topic exclusive, first a Funko Pop of Stitch dressed as a jack-o'-lantern, and then a jumbo-sized plush of the mischievous yet lovable alien. And if you had guessed that both of these Hot Topic exclusives had already sold out of pre-orders, I want to applaud you because that means you've been paying attention. Both should, however, be available in-store and online later this year when the items are officially released. Funko followed up its announcement around a mischievous alien with the announcement of a new batch of mischievous gremlins. As part of Tuesday's reveals, Funko unveiled seven new pop figures inspired by the film Gremlins. The new Gremlins Funko Pop figures include the fan favorite Mogwai Gizmo, as well as the Gremlins Spike and Daffy. Gizmo is getting two exclusive releases, both of which are variations of the character holding 3D glasses. Target will have a flocked variant of the figure, while Walmart will be getting a jumbo sized 10 inch version of the figure. Target has already sold out of its pre-orders of the Flock Gizmo with 3D glasses, but pre-orders are still available for the Walmart exclusive 10 inch jumbo pop. If you're not on a hunt for a special release of the Gizmo Pop, Funko is also releasing a standard version of the Pop, which is currently available for pre-order from Amazon, Entertainment Earth, GameStop, and Walmart, with the earliest ship date listed as July 12th. For those of you who are fans of Gremlins for the creepy and not the cuddly, Funko is releasing an exclusive Daffy Pop figure in the Funko shop sometime later this year. The figure is inspired by the iconic scene where the Gremlin can be seen sitting in a pot of noodles. Popular Gremlin Stripe is also getting a new Funko Pop figure. The new figure features the character in 3D glasses holding a drink. Stripe is available for pre-order now from Amazon, Entertainment Earth, GameStop, and Walmart. The earliest availability of the figure appears to be from GameStop, where they're estimating the figure will be available on July 12th. For those of you who like your pop figures a little more portable, Funko is also releasing pocket pop keychains of both Gizmo and Stripe with 3D glasses. Both figures are available for pre-order from Amazon, Entertainment Earth, GameStop, and Walmart, with GameStop expecting to ship as early as July 2nd. Funko followed up its Gremlins announcement with another Hot Topic exclusive, this time from Tim Burton's Corpse Ride. The Diamond Collection pop of the character Emily features a glitter paint job and will be available sometime this fall, because yeah, pre-orders sold out. Another large volume reveal on Tuesday came from the anime series Demon Slayer. Admittedly, I'm not familiar with this series, but the reveal came with 11 new pop figures and two pop vinyl moments. I promise you, I'm gonna butcher these names. But the first series of figures revealed include Tanjiro Kamado, Nezuko Kamado, Zenitsu Agatsuma, Inosuke Hashibira, and Muzan Kibusuji. The full first series of pop figures are available for pre-order from Entertainment Earth, GameStop, and Walmart, with select figures still available for pre-order through Target. GameStop and Entertainment Earth are both expecting to begin shipping the figures in August, with Target and Walmart both shipping in October. The second set of Demon Slayer reveals were exclusive to Galactic Toys and Chalice Collectibles, and included the characters Tanjiro and Inosuke. Both figures appear to have already sold out, and it's not clear if these figures will be available for purchase at a later date. 
The first pop moment revealed from Demon Slayer is Tanjiro vs. Rue, and is available for pre-order now through Entertainment Earth and Target, with Entertainment Earth expected to ship in August and Target in October. Funko also announced a AAA anime exclusive figure, and if I'm being honest here, I have no idea what that means. However, the figure is of the character Giyu Tomioka, and he is currently available for pre-order through Entertainment Earth and is expected to ship in September. Rounding out the Demon Slayer announcements were four more exclusives headed to Box Lunch and Hot Topic later this year. First, both Box Lunch and Hot Topic are getting exclusive Tanjiro Pops, with the Box Lunch figure being glow in the dark. Box Lunch will also be getting an exclusive Nezuko Pop Moment and Pocket Pop Keychain. As you'd expect, these exclusives have already sold out of their pre-orders, and you'll need to pick them up online or in-store when they are released later this fall. And while it's technically his second pop figure, horror legend Vincent Price is getting his very first pop under his actual name. A pop of the actor was previously released as the inventor from Edward Scissorhands, but with this release we will now have a true Vincent Price pop. Part of Funko's Horror Icon series, the new pop figure appears to be inspired by Price's appearance in the 1962 film Tales of Terror. Price is wearing a suit with a ruffled shirt and is holding a black cat. The figure is available for pre-order now from Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, Target, and Walmart. And the 2019 superhero story gone bad Brightburn is getting its first ever pop figure. During Funkoween, Funko announced that the character Brandon Breyer from the film would be getting his very own pop figure. The new Funko pop figure comes with a base that allows the figure to appear as though he's hovering and comes wearing his handmade mask and features glowing red eyes. The Brightburn pop figure is available from Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, and Walmart with the earliest release expected in late July. Funko wrapped day two of Funko Ween with a massive unveiling of new figures inspired by Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. The first reveal, and perhaps the most impressive, was the new Funko Pop train featuring characters from the film. The series features some of the film's most memorable characters and places each of them in a themed train car. The Nightmare Before Christmas Pop train series features Jack Skellington, Sally, Oogie Boogie, Zero, and the Mayor, and if you're lucky, you'll be able to complete the full set when Funko releases a Funko Shop exclusive Clown with the Tearaway Face. Hot Topic will also be selling an exclusive glow-in-the-dark variant of Zero if you're looking to spice up your Funko Pop train set. Each of the individual cars are available for pre-order now through Amazon, Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, and Walmart, with a select few still available for pre-order through Target. The Nightmare Before Christmas reveals also included five new art series pop figures that include the characters Sally, Oogie Boogie, and the Mayor. Hot Topic will have an exclusive variant of the Sally figure, and Funko will be releasing an exclusive variant of the Oogie Boogie figure. The non-exclusive Sally, Oogie Boogie, and the Mayor figures are available for pre-order through Amazon, Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, Target, and Walmart. The Hot Topic exclusive Sally has already sold out of its pre-order inventory, but should be available in-store and online once the figure is officially released. Funko did not announce the release date for its Funko Shop exclusive Oogie Boogie figure. Next, Funko unveiled a new Nightmare Before Christmas pop ride. The new ride features Jack Skellington in his snowmobile, hauling everything he needs to make Christmas. The figure is currently available for pre-order from Amazon, Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, and Walmart, with the earliest release expected sometime in July. During these reveals, Funko also unveiled another round of more portable pop figures with four new Pocket Pop keychains. Fans of The Nightmare Before Christmas will be able to pick up Scary Face Jack, Sewing Sally, The Mayor, and Oogie Boogie's Bugs later this year with pre-orders of all four available now through Amazon, Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, and Walmart. The earliest release of the new keychains is listed as July 16th. And Funko took advantage of its Nightmare Before Christmas Funko Ween announcements to also announce the restock of the FYE exclusive 10-inch glow-in-the-dark Jack Skellington with Zero figure. Since this is a restock, you won't have to wait for this one. The figure is available for purchase now on FYE.com. The Nightmare Before Christmas is also getting a new card game from Funko Games called Making Christmas. In it, players must gather toys from Halloween Town from Jack Skellington to deliver on Christmas, 
but the presents are in pieces. Look for clever combos on the workbench that will help you put the toys together. On your turn, swap two toy parts and use assembled toys to complete goal cards. Then, refill the workbench, goal cards, and the toy building continues to the next player. Hurry to put the toy parts together and be the player that completes the most goals to win. This family-friendly game is for ages 6 and up and provides up to 20 minutes of gameplay for 2-6 to six players. Making Christmas is available for pre-order now from Amazon, Entertainment Earth, GameStop, and Walmart with the earliest ship date listed as September 1st. Among the final Nightmare Before Christmas reveals was yet another Hot Topic Diamond Collection exclusive, this time of the Mayor. The figure has a chase variant featuring the character wearing his scared face and plans for Halloween. But of course, pre-orders are sold out. The Glittery Politician should be available for purchase on HotTopic.com and in stores later this year. And finally, Funko rounded out its Nightmare Before Christmas announcements with the unveiling of three new t-shirts inspired by the film. The Sally Hart tee, Jack Skellington Simply Meant to Be tee, and Oogie Boogie Wheel of Misfortune tee will be available exclusively through the Funko Shop. And while an exact release date has not been announced, you can request to be notified of when these shirts are being released via the Funko.com coming soon page. Funko kicked off day three of Funkoween with the unveiling of a Walmart exclusive pop figure inspired by the 1976 horror classic Carrie. The new pop figure is of the film's lead character Carrie White, famously played by Sissy Spacek in her prom dress, holding a bouquet, and wearing the prom queen crown. What surprised me about this pop is that the figure portrays the character as Carrie before she is doused with pig's blood, which of course is one of the most iconic scenes from the film. I myself am holding out on buying this pop in the hopes that Funko will release a blood-soaked variant of the character sometime in the future. But if you've always wanted a pop figure of a prom queen, you can pre-order your very own through Walmart.com and it's expected to ship beginning September 23rd. Funko also announced on Wednesday an all-new series of Funko Frightkins plush, all of which will be Hot Topic exclusives. And yeah, they're pre-sold out, so you'll have to try and find them in store and online when they're officially released later this year. Day 3 of Funkoween marked the first announcement where Funko unveiled a partnership for a release. The collectible toy maker has teamed up with Universal and Penguin Random House to release the first ever Little Golden Book featuring the Universal Monsters. The book features Dracula, Frankenstein's monster, Bride of Frankenstein, Wolfman, the creature from the Black Lagoon, and other classic creatures of the night in their first ever Little Golden Book appearance. Humorous scenes introducing each monster as adorable Funko Pop versions of these classic creatures is a great way to introduce kids to the characters. But let's face it, we Funko and Universal Monster collectors are eating this up just as much. The Funko Pop Universal Monsters Little Golden Book is available for pre-order now from Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Books A Million, and will be released on September 7, 2021. This fall, Funko will be unleashing the Curse of La Llorona with an all-new pop figure inspired by the Weeping Woman from 2019's Conjuring Universe film, The Curse of La Llorona. The figure, inspired by the La Llorona character from the film, features the veiled ghost with dark tears dripping from her eyes. The figure will also be available as a special limited edition chase variant that features La Llorona unveiled with glowing yellow eyes in an attack pose. The Curse of La Llorona Funko Pop figure is available for pre-order from Entertainment Earth and GameStop, with the figure shipping as early as late July. And Funko wrapped Day 3 of Funkoween unveiling an all-new series of Funko Pop figures inspired by the latest season of AMC's The Walking Dead. The new series of The Walking Dead Pop figures includes characters Maggie, Daryl, Carol, and Negan, with the Negan Pop being exclusive to the AMC The Walking Dead Supply Drop subscription box. The new Walking Dead pop figures are available for pre-order from Amazon, Entertainment Earth, FYE, Target, and Walmart, with the earliest ship dates listed as late August. Day 4 of Funkoween kicked off with the unveiling of a GameStop exclusive game cover Funko Pop inspired by The Witcher. The new pop figure is inspired by The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and features the character Geralt with the game's cover artwork behind him. The pop figure is available for pre-order now through GameStop and is expected to be released on July 22nd. Funko followed up the Witcher announcement with more video game news, unveiling a new series of action figures and plush inspired by the Five Nights at Freddy's video game franchise. 
The first Five Nights at Freddy's reveal was of five new action figures based on the characters from the Five Nights at Freddy's DLC, Curse of Dreadbear. The new series includes figures based on the characters Glitch Trap, Grim Foxy, Jack O'Bonny, and Dreadbear. Walmart will also be getting an exclusive Captain Foxy action figure, which is available for pre-order now and is expected to ship by October 19th. The Glitch Trap, Grim Foxy, Jack O'Bonny, and Dreadbear action figures are all available for pre-order now through Amazon, Entertainment Earth, GameStop, Target, and Walmart, with the earliest listed ship date as July 13th. Funko also unveiled five new plush figures inspired by the game. Fans will be able to pick up plush figures of Grim Foxy, Jack O'Bonny, Jack O'Chica, Captain Foxy, and Dreadbear, with Captain Foxy again being a Walmart exclusive. Grim Foxy, Jack O'Bonny, Jack O'Chica, and Dreadbear are available for pre-order now through Amazon, Entertainment Earth, GameStop, and Walmart, where the Captain Foxy exclusive is also available for pre-order. On Thursday, Funko also unveiled a new series of Walgreens exclusive Universal Monsters Pop figures. In recent years, Walgreens seems to be the exclusive retailers of new Universal Monsters releases, and this year that trend continues with the unveiling of new Dracula, Bride of Frankenstein, and the Wolfman pop figures. The figures are not being made available for pre-order, but are set to be released in-store and online in time for the Halloween season. Thursday also marked Funko's second partnership announcement, this time with the Halloween costume manufacturer Disguise, to release the first ever line of Funko masks. Funko unveiled seven new masks featuring characters from DC, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Ghostbusters, and the IT film franchise. Each mask features an adjustable strap allowing the mask to be worn by kids and adults alike and gives the wearer the appearance of having an oversized head, a look the Funko Pop figures are known for. The first set of masks revealed include Batman and Harley Quinn, with two of the three masks that were unveiled currently available for pre-order. While the classic blue Batman mask was revealed as part of the announcements, the mask has yet to appear online for purchase. Both the black Batman mask and the Harley Quinn mask are available for pre-order through Target, and Funko has listed the Harley Quinn mask on Funko.com's Coming Soon section for fans to sign up to be notified when the product is released. The second pair of masks unveiled is inspired by The Nightmare Before Christmas and includes both Jack and Sally. Both masks are available for pre-order now through Amazon, or you can sign up in the Coming Soon section of Funko.com to be notified when the masks are available in the Funko online shop. For fans of the Ghostbusters, Funko unveiled a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man mask inspired by the fan favorite film Batty. The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man Funko mask is currently available for pre-order through Amazon, or again, you can sign up in the coming soon section of Funko.com to be notified when the masks are available on the Funko online shop. Finally, fans of Bill Skarsgård's portrayal of Pennywise in the recent IT film franchise will be able to take on the character's pop persona with a new pop Pennywise mask. Like the rest of the Funko and Disguise Halloween masks, you can pre-order the Pennywise mask from Amazon now or sign up to be notified about the mask's release on Funko.com. Funko Rap Day 4 of funko -ween with five new pop figures that 80s horror fans are going to love. First, Funko unveiled new 40th anniversary The Evil Dead pop figures. The new pop figure is of Ash Williams from the 1981 film Evil Dead and will also be available as a limited edition blood spattered chase variant. The 40th Anniversary Evil Dead Pop is available for pre-order now through Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, and Target, with the figures expected to ship as early as September. But Funko saved the best for last and availed a series of the first ever pop figures inspired by the John Carpenter classic They Live. Fans of the film will be able to pick up pop figures based on the lead character John Nada, as well as one inspired by the aliens from the 1988 film. The alien figure will also have a black and white limited chase variant holding a newspaper that reads, Do not question authority, obey. The They Live Funko Pop figures are available now for pre-order through Entertainment Earth, GameStop, and Walmart, with the earliest shipping dates expected sometime in July. Alright guys, hopefully you're still with me because we're down to the final stretch with all of Friday's reveals. Funko kicked off the final day of funko Ween with the unveiling of a new glow-in-the-dark variant of its Alice in Wonderland Cheshire Cat Pop. The pop is a Books A Million exclusive and is available for pre-order on Booksamillion.com for $13.99 and is expected to ship later this year. Funko also unveiled two new GameStop and EB Games Dungeons & Dragons exclusives. 
The first of which is a Funko Pop metallic straw that comes with a special D20 dice. The figure is available for pre-order now from GameStop and is expected to ship on June 30th. Pre-sales through EB Games have sold out, but the figure is expected to be available in stores beginning June 29th. The second Dungeons & Dragons release coming to GameStop and EB Games is an exclusive Pop Mimic. The new Pop figure finds the shape-shifting Dungeons & Dragons character taking on the appearance of a Funko Pop box. The Pop comes with a special D20 die and is available for pre-order now through GameStop and is expected to begin shipping on September 8th. The EB Games pre-orders have already sold out, but the figure is expected to hit their store shelves on October 1st. Alright, remember when I mentioned earlier in the video that Funko used its Funkoween event to drop a bunch of new The Office stuff, even though it's the least Halloween thing they could probably announce? Well, the larger unveiling of new Office stuff came on Friday with the reveal of five new pop figures. In all honesty, the only thing that really ties any of these to Halloween is the fact that a few of these pops feature characters from the show in costume. The first figure unveiled was an FYE exclusive pop figure of Michael Scott, dressed up like Willy Wonka from the Golden Ticket episode of the Workplace Comedy. The figure is available for pre-order now and is expected to be released on September 19th. Next up was Kevin, dressed as the Dunder Mifflin superhero. The pop is available for pre-order from Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, Target, and Walmart. Then. Funko unveiled the only true Halloween-themed pop from the series with another vinyl figure of Pumpkin-Headed Dwight. The pop version of the character is available for pre-order now through Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, Target, and Walmart. The next reveal from the Office series was Oscar with a Scarecrow doll. The figure is available for pre-order now from Entertainment Earth, FYE, GameStop, Target, and Walmart. And finally, Funko unveiled a Target exclusive pop figure of the character Dwight holding a blowtorch inspired by The Office's opening credits. The figure is available for pre-order now on Target.com and is expected to be released on November 5th. The rest of the new The Office pop figures are expected to begin shipping as early as August 19th. And as day 5 of Funko Ween began to wind down, Funko unveiled yet another Hot Topic exclusive this time inspired by the fan favorite Halloween horror film, Trick or Treat. Funko will be releasing an all new version of the character Sam for 2021, with this being the first version to feature the character without his burlap mask. If your first thought when I shared this figure is, God damn it, it's sold out, isn't it? You'd be correct, as Hot Topic again sold out of pre-orders for the figure. Though if you're lucky, you might be able to pick it up in store or online when it's officially released later this year. Funko Ween concluded on Friday with the unveiling of two all-new Texas Chainsaw Massacre pop figures. While the character of Leatherface has been given the pop treatment in the past, Funko decided it was time to give the figure an updated look much like they did with Michael Myers earlier in the week. The new figure, inspired by the Toby Hooper horror classic, is available as a regular Funko pop figure as well as a pocket pop keychain. Both figures are available for pre-order from Entertainment Earth, GameStop, and Walmart, with the earliest release date listed as July 29th. Now, if you were following Funkoween as closely as I was, you're probably thinking to yourself, hey Mike, what about all the Loungefly stuff that was announced? And there was a reason I didn't include this in kind of the initial run of announcements. And the reason being that Funko just simply didn't give us enough information to really know what these products were or when or where they were going to be announced. Most of the reveals were product concept images and at most Funko would say, hey, check loungefly.com or check the Loungefly social media later this year for more information, which just wasn't really a whole lot to go off of. That said, I'm not going to leave you hanging here for those of you who do like the Loungefly products. I'm going to wrap up this video by showing you all of the Loungefly reveals with as much information as I can provide based on what Funko gave us. And I'm going to kick it off with Funko's Friday reveals, which featured Pennywise from the film It. The three new accessories will be exclusive to Walmart and include a Loungefly mini backpack featuring Pennywise holding a red balloon along with a matching coin bag. Walmart will also be getting an exclusive four-piece enamel pin set featuring Pennywise in various forms from the recent film franchise, as well as a pin of the classic Pennywise from the IT TV miniseries. All three items are available for pre-order from Walmart.com now and are expected to be released on October 28th. 
All right, now let's dive into the reveals that we know even less about. On Monday, Funko unveiled a new Loungefly Disney Villains mini backpack, which has a print that looks like various bookshelves of some of your favorite Disney villains. Noticeable character references seen from the early concept images show items tied to villains like the Wicked Witch, Jafar, Maleficent, Hades, and Cruella de Vil. For now, that's about all we've got. Funko ended day one of Funkoween with two new Loungefly product reveals inspired by the film Halloween 2. The first product is what I can only guess is a wallet and features an image of the Halloween 2 logo jack-o'-lantern on the front and an image of Michael Myers on the back. The reveal also included a mini backpack featuring the Halloween 2 logo jack-o'-lantern on the front pocket and Michael Myers with blood dripping from his eyes on the larger pocket. The back of the mini backpack reads, there's no place to hide. There appears to be some sort of print on the backpack, but for now you can't really make out what it is. When and where this will be released is still to be determined. When Funko kicked off day two of its Funko Wing reveals with all things Stitch, they also unveiled what appears to be a Vampire Stitch wallet. The wallet features Stitch in a cape and you can apparently open and close his arms to reveal his vampire outfit. It's unclear if this is just for looks or if it's in some way tied to the wallet's functionality. A Vampire Stitch mini backpack was also unveiled, which features the same character design. The backpack shows Stitch with his arms spread, though it's unclear if the backpack will have similar open and close states as the wallet. And midweek, Funko released a short video on social media that teased other Loungefly releases for Halloween, including a new Mickey Mouse pumpkin mini backpack, which features an all-over print of Mickey pumpkins on the backpack and a large Mickey pumpkin as the front pocket. They also teased a glow-in-the-dark Minnie Mouse mini backpack that makes the popular Disney character look like a ghost. The backpack is a perfect companion to the previously released Mickey mini backpack that has a similar style. The video also showcased new items from Stitch Shop by Loungefly, including a new Olivia dress featuring an ombre of bats and cameos of some of your favorite Universal Monsters. The video also showed a matching Universal Monsters cardigan, which features a Stitch heart embroidered on the front and an image of all of the Universal Monsters inside a heart on the back. You can complete the look with a new Loungefly handbag featuring matching cameos of the Universal Monsters on the front. And with that, that is everything that Funko announced this week as part of the 2021 Funko Ween. I know that was a lot, and hopefully I didn't miss anything, but if you had trouble following along with all of the product reveals this week, hopefully this gets you up to date. That's it for the special Funkoween edition of This Week in Eek. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite reveal was. And while you're here, be sure to subscribe so you can keep up with all the regular episodes of This Week in Eek. Until next time, keep it creepy.